if you are a software developer or a consultant or maybe a business owner and you are writing code using ai code editors something like github copilot something like cursor something like bolt.new you should always double check that code before deployment now to manually review this code and to detect how much code is written by ai it can be very challenging and time consuming task there is a tool out there which is called ai detector pro this tool can review your code it can highlight the ai generated code and it can identify the potential problems in your code this tool can be used for c sharp php python javascript and java with 98% of accuracy rate in this era of ai code editors where all of us use ai code editors to write code there's a very high chance that the code that is written by ai it can have bugs and potential problems that it can cause after deployment so tools like this can be helpful for you to detect problems in your code in this video i'm going to review this tool for one of our java projects some of this code is written by ai and some of this code is written by one of our developers so we'll copy both of these code files into this tool and see how it performs to start using this tool you can simply just come to this URL which is code.aidetector.pro I have provided that link in description you can just use that link then simply just click on register and you can start using this tool for free you are not required to attach any sort of credit card so don't worry about that once you are logged in this is how this dashboard looks like simply just click on new scan and now from this drop down you can actually select what sort of code you want to test we are going to test our java code I'll come back to my project I'll copy this code from here I'll paste that code over here then I'll click on analyze and that's it. 98% of this code is written by AI because cursor actually wrote that code. So it has detected that 98% of that code was actually written by AI. Let me just simply click on this for further like more detailed report and you can see here it is. It actually analyzes your code in, in, in a proper detail. Now let's test this other code file which was actually written by one of our developers. Let me just copy that code file from here. Let me just paste that file here. Let me just click on analyze. And now it has generated this report. Apparently it shows that 73% of this code was written by AI. That means our developer used AI to write this code, but you can see like th there is a lot, but you can see there is a lot of code that he wrote himself. And yeah, only 63% of this code was written by AI. And you can see it clearly marks the blocks of code which were written by AI and it has this uh, suspicious section as well so the code which was suspicious that it could be written by human or could be written by ai so it has just like marked it as a suspicious code by the way just to mention here this tool doesn't fix or rewrite any sort of code it just detects the code which is written by ai so let's suppose if you're trying to find any bugs in your code you can only look for the blocks of code which are written by ai because there's a high probability that the code which is written by ai will have some sort of bugs let's talk about the pricing plans now you can start for free there's a free plan you can do two scans per month then there's an individual plan for consultants which is for $27.98 this plan includes unlimited scans and of course you can detect Java C sharp Python PHP and JavaScript then there is a plan for small businesses which is for $69.98 this is usually for the teams of up to 50 people for any enterprise plan you can actually directly contact them on their yearly subscription they have like 17% off so you can maybe explore that as well so yeah if you are a team of developers working on some serious projects you can use this kind of tools to avoid any sort of potential problems and bugs in your code because most of the times when we use AI to write code there's a chance that there can be a potential bug so you can use this kind of tools to avoid that I hope you liked this video Please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I see you next video. Bye bye.